in the previous video we have seen uh, seen i2c functions to generate the clock to generate the start condition stop condition then how we could transfer 8 bits of data and then how we could read 8 bits of data and then we have seen how to give a positive and a negative acknowledgement and we will be using these functions to generate or uh, you know use these functions and have an interface for the for the DS1307 it uses all the I2C functions and then it builds upon them uh, to do all of this. Now we have discussed this uh, in the last video let us go ahead and look at details of all of this. Now if you remember the uh, the video the ID or the device ID for the RTC was D0 and that is defined as a constant. Now this file this is the main C file DS1307.C and this has uh, all the functions that, are, that we'll be discussing in this video. Now this is the device ID now and also if you remember from the table the second address is um, the address for the seconds to store or read seconds is 00, zero and the starting address for the date is uh, is 4 so let me just bring that up yes so the address for the seconds is 00, zero and the starting address for the date is zero 04 so if you write into first three uh, addresses we would write the time and then if we start from fourth and write the next three it would be the date so this is time and this is the date and so uh, since we need just the starting one so we defined uh, second address is 00, zero and the date address is zero 04 now uh, to as as if you remember we have also said that we would turn off the square wave and that can be done from the control register whose address is 0x07 let us go ahead and look at all the functions one by one first up is lcd uh, sorry the ds1307 in it now what this function is, does is it starts the i2c um, with the start condition so i2c dot start if you remember it generates the start condition then it writes the uh, the id on the i2c bus so it invokes the i2c slave in this case it would be ds1307 so uh, and after that what we do is we write the control register and we make it 00, zero. so if we do that it it uh, you know disables the square wave and then we stop the i2c this is uh, basically what we do is we write the id uh, and then we stop the you know you could as well do away with this function if you do not want to uh, you know stop the square wave now now this is where it begins uh, now this is again pretty simple because we already have functions for writing data or reading data on the i2c line so ds1307 uh, write what it does is uh, it it writes uh, the uh, it, it uses the i2c write function and writes a, a byte of data and it also generates the clock i2c clock similarly we have i2c read function which you know which returns a byte which, which has arrived on the uh, i2c line so this is ds1307 read now uh, this is an important function it sets the time on the uh, on the rtc now uh, if you remember again so the format is hours minutes and seconds so uh, what we do is first uh, set the seconds then minutes and then the hour and then uh, it is uh, basically very simple uh, so we start we start the i2c with the i2c start condition and then we send the rtc id uh, which is d0 we send the d0 and then we send the second address which is 00 in this case so second start with 00 then we continuously write three bytes here so the first byte is the seconds the second byte is the minutes and third byte which is r so for example if we uh, if we if we send uh, the date and time here as input for this function this function will go ahead and write time into the rtc 
So similarly, we have a function to read time from the RTC. Now, as you could guess, uh, the this is uh, no. Before we go ahead and read time, we can also set the date. And if you remember, this would be uh, exactly the same as time, but only change we do is instead of sending the second address, we change. Uh, it to date address and date address is 04 as we have seen on the diagram there so we and then we write three consecutive bytes which have a date in them as ddmm and yy now with this if we call these two functions uh, set time and set date in our main function then this would set the date and time for us in the rtc so the next function obviously would be to read date and time so uh, the writing of date and time is done only once so once we do that next what we do is we go ahead and read uh, date and time now there will be only one change uh, when we do this now what we do is we start the i2c i mean with the uh, start we send the start condition and then we write the id and then uh, we write the second address and then we stop it and then we start again and uh, what happens is this initializes the uh, the slave and if you remember the d0 the address which we had so this is 1101 one, one, this is d and the next three bits this is the only this these seven bits are only the uh, ds1307 id the next bit is read or write since we need to read this time we need to make this one so this is read slash write bar so this becomes one so 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 what we do is instead of sending d0 to read what we send is d1 so this is hexadecimal 0xd1 so we start the uh, uh, combination again and then we send d1 instead of d0 this time and then we read the uh, uh, with the ds1307 we read read the uh, seconds first and then we give them back in the seconds pointer which was uh, which was taken in this variable and then similarly uh, and once we do that we need to send an acknowledgement to the rtc that we have received it so we send a positive acknowledgement now uh, similarly we uh, read minutes and store it in, in the pointer and then uh, hours and then store it in the pointer so what this function does is it basically reads uh, the hours minutes and characters similarly the next function uh, it would be exactly the same uh, the only difference would be the instead of second address we would send date address and the next three consecutive bytes that we need would be for date minutes and year and the uh, and uh, and what we do next is we use all these functions and read uh, the time and display it on LCD. So uh, since we have built up this library, it would be very simple to call the library, write the date and then read it back. So we'll see that. This is uh, how we go ahead and call the all the libraries that we've written and we'll see uh, we'll, we'll, re we'll recall all the functions that were written in the libraries and then we'll set the time and then we read it. Alright, so uh, so this is a standard norm now. So we include the register 51.h, the lcd.h and a corresponding lcd.c file would have uh, the connections for the lcd. So this is driven in 4-bit mode and you would have lcd 4-bit mode.c and that file would have the connections for the LCD. Now uh, ds13.07.h we have seen all the headers file, header files in this, uh, I mean the function prototypes in this particular file. So we will go ahead and use them. Now uh, LCD in it, it initializes the LCD, ds1307 does the same for RTC. Next what we do is, uh, now look at this carefully. So uh, the time we write it is in hexadecimal itself but the rtc takes it as bcd so if it is uh, 10 40 uh, 20 uh, 10 hours 40 minutes and 20 seconds we give it in hex 
I mean hex I mean we give it as it is in hex and similarly for time we call the function set time and then we give the date now this has to be done only once right so what you do is uh, you write the time to the RTC and then you comment these lines and then uh, re rewrite the code so otherwise what happens every time the controller uh, reloads you would see the same time on the display so what you do is you set the time only once and for the next time comment these lines and then uh, write rewrite whatever code you want and then uh, you would you would be able to read it from the rtc now next what you do is we go to line one on the lcd display time and then we go to line two and then we display date now what we do is in front of this time we would come back and display time that is read from the rtc in front of this date we would come back and display the date now uh, all the while in this function what we do is uh, we get the time and these uh, three pointers they refer to the time and these variables are hour, minutes and seconds uh, which we have here and uh, and and this and these uh, what we do is we go to 0 6 because we displayed time here so five positions are already taken so we go to the sixth position and we display the, the time that is read similarly um, we read the date and we go to line um, I mean line one and the sixth position on the LCD and we display the time so the main function is pretty simple so what we need, really need to understand is the uh, entire library and the uh, codes for the DS1307 and I2C so uh, go back review the code and uh, you know um, and if you have any questions do post it in forums we also have a demo video for uh, for you and go ahead and watch it and uh, thank you for watching